The Barbados government continues to treat the onslaught of sargassum seaweed along the coast as a national emergency. Minister of Maritime Affairs and the Blue Economy, Kurt Humphrey, and other officials were on hand at Consett Bay in St. John, as machinery is now being used to assist in the removal of the seaweed. The minister urged Barbadians to be patient, stressing that government was doing everything in its power to find ways to remove the seaweed. As you know, we've taken an approach in the Ministry of Maritime Affairs and the Blue Economy that we will try our best to deal with the seaweed in terms of trying to clear the beaches, in terms of trying to harvest it and to make some productive use of it, in terms of trying to develop a relationship with the other government ministries as well as those in the private sector to try to develop innovative ways to not only capture the seaweed but to utilize it and to put it on the market in various ways. The last time I spoke, I spoke to the potential uh, that we were investigating to use it as an energy source and to use it as a fertilizer. And, but at the end of the day, I want to make a plea to Barbadians to really, first of all, give us a chance to address this issue. It is, it is a big problem. The magnitude is massive. Some of the machines you see on um, Facebook and so on weren't meant for the tides that we have in Barbados. I mean, you just can't just take something you see on Facebook and assume it's going to work here. So we have to take our time and figure out what is the best solution to the problem that we are facing. I'm very happy to see that their BAMC have been able to lend us some of their machines and that very soon you're going to see the conveyor belt that is used normally for moving sugar, moving seaweed. I mean, that is innovation in, in an area that needs innovation so just give us some time some innovators are not looking at the seaweed as a nuisance but rather a blessing where you said are you going to use it as fertilizer so you're going to have some drano at the yeah we're working with um we spoke there with um the chief ceo now um, his name is john tudor and he's allocated about 10 acres to actually do a pilot on using the uh we call it sea compost <laughs> as, it, as it breaks down. Yeah, it becomes a very, very high quality. And um, that product we're gonna use it and demonstrate in lettuce, um, different crops, but we wanna focus on crops that we normally import. So things like grapes and cauliflower and things. Lettuce is pretty straightforward, six piece crops is pretty straightforward. Herbs are pretty straightforward to grow in this. Um, but so we wanna deal with more difficult crops. Um, so that we can focus on reducing our import there on the food side. So the relationship is really circular one. Uh, industry, agriculture, waste management, everybody in a nice little circle uh, supplying each other. So how long does the process take before you can plant stuff? Well, it depends from where you pick it up from. If you deal with the composting set that has already come in, right, that's perfect. In fact, that stuff has the worms growing in it and that worms can only be growing in it if it is a healthy soil. They're, they're the indicator of whether soil is healthy or not. Once you see the presence of that worms, you know that you've got good stuff. So the goal is that we take off the composted stuff, let the rest come short, so that it's also compost, move that out, and so that's the process that we're trying to get going, all right? And then on the other stuff at the back, we take that out manually, and we carry that through a processing process, Now we grind that down, mill that down, add some digestives which is coming out of the bag gas plant uh, to it and you get a good additive of what we call uh, MPK in addition to the micro nutrition that you get from the CV. So those two things combined together give you a really high quality um, product. We are excited about the micronutrient properties that are contained within the seaweed itself and so we are going to be generating a fertilizer product as Mark would have referenced earlier with, with those details. Uh, my significant passion here is how we can address the issue of youth and employment you know, while solving what seems to be a national issue. Um, and so that is what we are doing. We currently have about five young men employed who help us to harvest that seaweed uh, and then we move it to the production phase. And so we are hoping to bring a product to market. As Barbados continues to battle this foreign invader, it is hoped that we can find some relief in the weeks to come.